I usually get up at 5 a.m. and get a little quiet time to myself before I get him up about 6. First get up, have my coffee, do my emails, make him a big breakfast, and uh, it's always the same thing every day. Get him right to school, same time. Consistency, being a dad, is what it's about. Just, it subliminally, it sets them up in their life that he just feels that, you know, and you don't have to even say anything. The best trip I've ever taken was last October. We drove to Lafayette, Louisiana, and we took the Mercury and drove to Lafayette and went for a weekend in this big car show. It's the first time with my son in the car, driving this old car. And the funny thing was, is we drove right through my old hometown, that area. And in a million years, when I was growing up there, you would have never told me I was going to be driving back through there one day in this cool 50 Mercury with my 12-year-old son sitting next to me that I never knew I was going to have. And it was really sentimental coming through there. I've always been pretty serious about work, and I've always worked hard. Always. I've always worked. My dad was a single dad and he raised me and I watched him work really hard. He had like two or three jobs and my dad passed away when I was 25 and he was my best friend and he was a great guy and he, he taught me a lot but he was an underwater welder, did all this kind of cool stuff, was into the arts and motorcycles and cars and you know so he left quite an imprint on me. We didn't know what we were gonna have but I just kinda knew it was a boy. When he came out it was like it kinda fixed everything with my dad. It was like it made it okay that my dad was gone because now I'm the dad. And so it's now my journey and I'm supposed to be as good as my dad was. <laughs>